Your level chemistry quick test video on year 13 rates. So a couple of questions for you to try. So if you want to pause the video and then play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the orders with respect to A, B and C. So doubling A increases the rate by a factor of 2. So it's doing the same thing. So that's first order. B has no effect on the rate. So zero order for B. Half in the concentration of C decreases the rate to half its original value. So that's doing the same thing, just like A did. So that's first order as well. So A first order, B zero order, C first order. The overall order is just the sum of the orders. So that's second order overall. The rate equation, so basically we just lose the B term because it's um, zero order. Um, you don't need the multiplied sign in it, you just put the square bracket side by side. And I haven't bothered with the power ones, but you could put them in if you wanted to. The unit of the rate constant k, so we rearrange the rate equation for k, so it becomes that. And then we put the units in for the terms, so there we have the units there. And then we can cancel top and bottom moles per centimeter cubed. So and then we take the denominator up to the top, flip the signs of the powers, we get that. Conventionally, you're supposed to write positive powers first, so dm cubed comes first. Don't worry if you haven't, uh, you won't be penalised for that. Second question about J and D. So the concentrations of J and D are both trebled. What's going to happen to the rate? So it would be the 3 squared multiplied by 3 for that one. So that's a 27 fold increase. And if um, J is doubled, D is trebled. So it would be 2 to the power 2 times 3. And that gives you 12 fold increase. Okay, so the second question I've gone for is this one here. So again, if you want to pause the video, have a go at that and then play on for the answers. Okay, so we'll start by looking at the order with respect to A. So we're looking for a pair of experiments where we can hold B constant. As you can see in 1 and 2 we can. So we'll look at what happened to A. It's doubled. And we're looking at what happened to the rate. It's gone up by a factor of 4. So from 1 and 2, concentration of A times 2 rate times 4, that's a second order reaction with respect to A. So for B now, we're looking for two experiments where A is constant. You can see in 1 and 3, the, it's kept at 0 0.01. So what's happening to B? It's gone up by a factor of um, 1.5. And then what's happening to the rate, that's also gone up by a factor of 1.5. And so that's first order with respect to B. So we can write the rate equation now. So rate equals K, concentration of A squared multiplied by concentration of B. And so to work out the rate constant K, we rearrange the rate equation for K. And then I'm just going to sub in the values from experiment 1. You should get the same answer irrespective of which row you do and often in exam questions they'll tell you which row to use anyway. So putting those numbers in I get a value of k at 27. So looking at the units for k now we mustn't forget those. So the units of k rate over concentration squared multiplied by concentration. We can cancel one lot of moles per centimeter cube top and bottom. And then we need to bring the um, bracket up to the top, but remember we need to flip the signs of the power. So we end up with that, and remember, positive powers should come first, but you're not penalised if you don't.